Rather than get consumed and annihilated and suffocated by clout and all of its negativity that it brings slash creates, I'd rather dominate clout itself and overcome its negativity. Good old cloud chasing, the driving force behind our society in 2019. I mean, just think about it. Everything we do on social media is for the chance to achieve just a minuscule amount of clout that we didn't have before. We chase it so much that we are blinded by it to the point where we can't even see anything. But but the cloud, it's like a drug. Whether it's a like or a comment or even a follow, this is why so much people don't like following more people than they have followers. It's for the cloud. Some people accumulate so much clout that they get high off of it. They need more. There's this thirst for clout. It's an unquenchable sensation that needs to be quenched or else they will become irrelevant. So much so that people will do dangerous things for clout, like joining a gang, threatening somebody, or buying followers, and yes, even drop a diss track on somebody for exposure. Like the one I made for the animation critic community. Uh, please don't come in disrespecting my set Susie and Dom is respecting the vest Y'all can't compare me to big of a threat Instagram and money, I want blue checks Green light in front of your face It looks like you was tanning For all that tough talk, you get shot with a cannon Not hearing the hate cause my speakers is jamming You nurtures and stick to computer programming I mean, I know if y'all entered that But y'all are talking so tough on the internet If you just send it, hey, we can just send it back My animations are better than artifacts Listen to my words, it give you a heart attack Hating is just a fan starter pack You don't know how to act Clear visions, what you like? Why'd you hop on a sack? Try to send me with one of your videos Slap. And your content ain't whacking you spitting some facts and you're done with the cap like too hot for a hat Just look at my stats I know that they look fat but I'm fly as a bat and you low as a mat And you cry like a brat if I think you a rat I'll bust out the gun and I let it go splat Y'all can criticize that I don't care what you think cause y'all know where I'm at mm, I did it I did it I did it again Don't ever come at me none of my friends I'll bust at you and make it all in What are you all gonna criticize then? <laughs> nah I'm just joking But in all honesty My homie Drake Said it the best. Niggas gambling with their life for some content. That's the type of lottery that could get your top pick. I am a cream of the crop, nigga. You niggas pop mollies. My mollies pop niggas. However, the examples I gave you are cloud chasers who have fallen into the dark side of cloud. But there is a good version of cloud chasing, like grinding on YouTube videos for years and hopes you can get the attention of someone who you admire and hopes it could kick off your YouTube career or even commenting under Instagram posts and telling people to follow you even though you know <laughs> it's annoying but you know it's not bad and that's the good version of cloud chasing but that's just social media cloud let's kick it up a notch let's let's do some real life examples you have a friend and y'all grew up together through thick and thin that was your homie y'all were inseparable nothing could come between you and him hold up stanley this this kind of sounds sus bro for the video he was your a1 day one homie but all the sudden he stops hanging out with you 
because he wants to be popular. They start drifting away from you and they don't hang out with you anymore. He starts hanging out with all the popular kids while you're left behind because you're not cool enough to make the cut, leaving you sad and alone by yourself. Yo, St Stanley, you, you good, bro? Because I feel like there's a deeper issue at hand here that we need to talk about. <laughs> nah. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Just, just keep going with the video, bro. Just keep going. You sure? Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. I'm good, bro. All right, if you say so. If a scenario like that happens, there's a good chance he's a cloud chaser. Or, you know, maybe he just wanted to have more than one friend. Stop I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop interrupting my story. I can't breathe. Another trait of cloud chasing is fighting someone even though you don't have any problems against the person. You just want people to talk about you later. That is also clout chasing my guy. Getting with a girl slash boy you don't like but everybody else likes her slash him and therefore you'll be like also if you date her slash him <laughs> you're still cloud chasing shorty doing good deeds only because you're being recorded and you know that people are going to see it <laughs> congratulations you're still cloud chasing people often see clout as power or dominance or even as just fame which in some ways it is but to me i see it as a tool that can only help me reach more people Rather than get consumed and annihilated and suffocated by clout and all of its negativity that it brings slash creates, I'd rather dominate clout itself and overcome its negativity. By doing that, I'd be able to use it in the proper way. But at the end of the day, to sum it up, I would say that the definition of clout chasing is doing something you wouldn't have done if nobody was around you. Every day, we live our lives according to others' views and opinions on us. And those views messes with us. Those views messes with our heads. It makes us think that we have to do this or you won't be popular or try this or you won't be cool. And I feel like it's thoughts like that that makes clout chasing bad. But when you're alone, when you're behind closed doors, when you're away from all the noise life creates, that's when I truly believe you are the real you. So I feel like when you truly know yourself, when you truly understand what you're doing, you're not a cloud chaser anymore, you're a hustler.